Hey mommies, are you having constipation issues like I am? Don't worry, we have some solutions coming your way right after this. Hello everyone and thanks for joining our latest episode of Ask Me Doctor, a health video series for you and your family, specially brought to you by motherhood.com.my. For this season of Ask Me Doctor, we will be focusing on pregnancy, everything that you need to know. I'm Mahira Khan, a mother of one and currently baking another bun in the oven. As this is my second pregnancy, I do feel that my body reacts differently compared to my first pregnancy. One of the symptoms that I'm facing this time around is irregular bowel movements and it can put a damper in my plans and daily life. So today, I'm going to have a chat with Dr. Sharina Razali, a consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist at KPJ Damansara Specialist Hospital to unravel about pregnancy constipation. Are laxatives safe to use? So excited to have you here, Dr. Sharina. Hope you're well and thank you for joining us on the show. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me and having me on the show. All right, so today's topic, constipation. Doctor, maybe you can elaborate further. For me, as I said, it's my mm -hmm. second pregnancy and this time around, I'm experiencing a little bit of constipation. So mm -hmm. maybe can you elaborate further? What constitutes as constipation? Is it just having hard bowels or difficulty mm -hmm. in passing motion? Every pregnant woman is different, okay? And, and so they will have different bowel movements themselves. Constipation actually means having fewer than three bowel movements in a week and it's also associated with stools that are hard to pass so they're both actually constipation symptoms if you suffer from constipation you may find yourself difficult to pass your motion you know and you may find yourself having to push or to strain a little bit more mm. Mm. so constipation is quite common up to one in four women will experience constipation during their pregnancy you are more likely to face this during the third trimester but it can happen throughout the all the trimesters in pregnancy you know, during the first trimester you're not taking enough fluids yeah. and then during the third trimester that's when your baby's heavier so yeah. there's more pressure on the bowels so making it hard to pass so for me personally um mm -hmm. i realized the constipation started towards the end of the second trimester and as i mentioned before it's not something that i had during my first pregnancy mm, well but not all pregnancies are the same so, yes. Yeah. Now, doctor, sometimes, I know that this is getting a little bit into detail, yeah. but since we're on the topic, sometimes I do feel, though I've already passed my motion, mm -hmm. I feel as if my bowels are not completely empty and mm -hmm. it feels as if there's some stools still stuck there. So is that something that's normal or is that something that we should be concerned about? Well, people with constipation can feel that way. It's because they have not actually fully emptied their bowel. You feel like you've gone, but actually there are still some hard stool that's retained inside. Mm. So that's when you feel the hardened lower abdomen, you know. And this can actually cause you to cause some discomfort. It makes you feel like you need to go again, but there's nothing actually coming out. Sorry, it's a bit personal, but that's what you feel, right, Myra? I'm a living proof of a yeah. woman, a normal healthy woman who's going through this. <laughs> suddenly, and with suddenly constipation <laughs> in the second trimester. Yes. And you feel like you've gone but some discomfort and you feel like you need to go again but it's not happening. Yeah. So if this happens, this is this is a sign that you need to talk to your friendly guy, your obstetrician lah, so because she can advise you on certain things that you can do to help you with alleviate this problem. While having constipations, you know, mm. you know, as a pregnant woman you have a lot of advice from your parents, from your family yeah, members. Before your you you obstetrician, you talk to your mom first, right? Or your friends. I, or yes. Mr. Google. I'm I'm <laughs> guilty of saying that, but yes, before the doctor comes all the advice from parents and every, all loved ones yeah, first, then I'm comes sure. the doctor. So I did get advice from my parents on mm. um, especially my mom regarding yeah. constipation and mm -hmm. how to relieve it. So maybe you can elaborate further on what sort of lifestyle changes that could help ease constipation. May I ask what, what is your mother's recommendation? What did she tell you to do? Well, my <laughs> mom always says drink plenty of fluids, uh -huh. eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and yeah, to basically more on fluids especially, that's what my mom says. Well, that's actually great advice. Your mom is good. <laughs> constipation in pregnancy it can be prevented, can be alleviated with some lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. She's right, you can add more fluids to your diet. I mean like fruits, vegetables, take more water. For example, prune juice, now it's fasting month, you know, there's a lot of kurma around, dates, it's all very good to help alleviate your uh, constipation, constipation problem. Yep, yep, your mom's a great. All right, mommy. Thank you for the advice. <laughs> Doctor has just approved your advice, so I'm yes. gonna listen to you. Approved by the OBGYN. <laughs> yeah. So besides that, um, if let's say it doesn't help, you yes. can also include some physical activity in your daily routine. It's an exercise that's actually recommended in pregnancy. So being active can help prevent pregnancy constipation. High fiber diet, uh, fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, and exercise. All these will help too. Um, is is yeah, like the constipation problem. problem. Yep, that's right. Okay. And if let's say these 
still doesn't help, that's when you need to visit your obstetrician. <laughs> mm. Alright, so Dr. Sharina, um, you know, as being a pregnant mom, obviously we're always worried about taking any sort of medications yeah, or supplements. Sure. That's mm -hmm. why we always mm -hmm. come and um, get advice from doctors and all that. So let's say when I'm having constipation, I'm a little worried mm -hmm. when it comes to taking laxatives. Like, right. And as a, a, a mom to be, mm -hmm. sometimes I worry that maybe taking too much laxatives might cause the baby to come out earlier. Understand. I remember I know my worry when they're taking any medication. Yes. But don't worry because Fortunately, most laxatives will not be absorbed by your body. They will just remain in the bowel, you know, and it's actually safe to be taken by a pregnant woman and even breastfeeding woman. So, but if you're not sure, it's always safe to check with your OBGYN. Put your mind at ease so that you can take the medicine comfortably. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you'll be worried and you'll not be taking it, then it's not going to help your problem. Yes. Yeah. So, that's mm. why we always need our friendly doctor on board. <laughs> and since you're here, doctor, maybe you can give us some advice on mm -hmm. what sort of laxatives you would recommend for pregnant women to take. Okay, so there are um, few types of laxatives available. Um, your OBGYN might recommend either the bulk forming laxatives such as psyllium husk and polycarbophil uh, or stimulant laxatives such as bisacodyl or osmotic laxatives such as macrogo 4000 and lactulose. So it, these are all basically laxatives with different mechanism of action. Macrogol 4000? Mm -hmm. Wow, that name sounds fancy. Can you tell us more about that? Okay, so Macrogol 4000 is a safe and gentle laxative indicated for constipation treatment. It works by hydrating and softening the stool to help regulate the bowel's rhythm. Mm. Mm. So it absorbs water, makes the pieces more moist and this will help to soften the stool and regulate the bowel rhythm. Right. Mm. Well, Dr. Sharina, thank you so much for all those advice and for the information that you provided. But I do have another question. Okay. So, obviously, as a pregnant mom, I'm taking my prenatal supplements, yeah. right? Yeah, you should be. <laughs> yes, I'm trying my very best. As I'm taking my prenatal mm -hmm. supplements, is mm -hmm. it safe to also take Macrogol 4000 at the same time? Um, it is, but I would suggest you to spare at least two hours apart from other products just to ensure the content of your supplements, your other supplements, mm -hmm. are properly absorbed. All mm. right. So it can be, we just make sure it's about two hours apart. Okay, just mm. give it like a gap timing yep. so that each yep. supplement gets has time to it, get, yes. gets it absorbed properly. Yep. When should I seek medical advice from a doctor when having constipation? Okay, so if you have any of the following symptoms of constipation during pregnancy, you should see your doctor. It can be either pain or discomfort in the abdomen or rectum. It can be irregular spotting. It can be hardened stool that is stuck in the rectum or long-lasting constipation that's not, you know, um, doesn't go away. If there's any changes in the way you go to the bathroom, especially if you see blood in your stools or you start to have diarrhea. Along with constipation, you may also have nausea, vomiting or fever. So if you do have this, you need to see your doctor. Mm -hmm. And any other worrisome signs that could be caused by constipation. If you're worried about constipation during pregnancy, talk to your doctor because they can always advise you based on your situation because no two patients are the same. Well, thank you so much Dr. Sharina for all your advice and that really weaves together all the old wives' tales. And to everyone watching at home, don't forget to join our contest to stand a chance to win a motherhood AMD wellness box and merchandise from EP Plus which is a pink shark soft toy and pill box. All you have to do is just follow these simple steps. Step 1. Answer this one simple question. Name one type of laxative that is safe to use during pregnancy. Step two, tag three friends and share this post. There you have it, so simple. Make sure that your account is set in public mode. And before we conclude, I wanna thank EP Plus for sponsoring this episode of Ask Me Doctor. We hope that you've enjoyed and learned from today's episode. Stay tuned for our next episode of Ask Me Doctor for more health tips for the family. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mahira Khan. I'm here at Dr. Sharina Razali. And this is motherhood.com.my. Bye! Bye.